forest represents pain and suffering and brutal crimes committed against African Americans. And that pain is very real for many of our fellow Tennesseans. As they walk the halls of our state house and evaluate how he could be one of the just nine busts that are elevated to a place of honor and reverence in the Capitol. Symbols matter. Proclamations and statues are not just snapshots of our history. They're a window into what we value. So that was Governor Bill Lee earlier today as he, as he said that he will urge the State Capitol Commission to remove the bust of Nathan Bedford Forrest. He is a Confederate general, early Ku Klux Klan leader. Uh, remove it from the State Capitol there and, and put it in a museum. It has been an evolving uh, sort of set of uh, beliefs there for, for the governor. He has evolved on that issue, but he took a strong stance today in advance of this important vote uh, tomorrow. We have a bunch of calls. We're going to go right back to the phones here. Let's go to Mark and Representative Staples there in Knoxville, Vice Chair of the Black Caucus. So Mark, um, what's on your mind, Mark? Are you there, Mark? Hello? Hello, Mark. Hello, yes. Go right ahead. Well, I'm totally against them removing any bus, any statues, or any of that that pertains to the American history. It, it's not right, in my opinion. It's wrong. As part of history, it should not be be removed. I mean, why? what is it uh, that... Uh, African Americans can have a right to their heritage, but uh, white Americans don't have no uh, right to our heritage. That's all part of the heritage of the United States of America. If they would do the research and look in the books, they'll see that uh, the first slave owner in this country was a black man, not a white man. If secondly, if they would look in their books, they would see that their uh, kings and queens of Africa sold them into slavery. We didn't just go over there and kidnap them. And then not only that, one of the first slaves that were in this country were uh, Irish. They weren't, they weren't black. So what is the big deal? I'm sick of all the protests and all the rioting and all the burning and all the looting. Uh, you know, they need to do just a little bit of research to see where they really come from. But, I, you know, people need to look on there and see if they can't look up a lady named Peggy, Peggy Hubbard. She tells the truth and she tells it like it is. And that's all I got to say. All right. Um, well, that's that's kind of the first call um, that, that, that said those things uh, in a while. But our right, Representative Staples. He doesn't want the, the, the statue removed. And then he, he said all kinds of things there about history. I, I, I don't know about any of that. But what, what do you want to say there to, to what Mark had to say? I'd let Mark know that he can go to the Tennessee State Museum, hopefully at any time, with his family, with his loved ones, and enjoy seeing the bus. Uh, that the bus is not being destroyed, it's not being thrown away in the garbage, and it's not being uh, removed from our history. It's going where history is stored for the state of Tennessee, which is the Tennessee Museum. So visit there. But at the same turn, I would invite Mark to visit the Bent Culture Exchange Center here in Knoxville. I would invite him once. Nashville opens to African American in history music history museum to visit there and then please take a journey to memphis and visit the african-american national historic museum and let's continue to talk about education and the removal of history and looking at history from another perspective i think that's most important so i, I accept this challenge but i ask him to take those steps and understand the reason behind the rallies the peaceful protests uh, is because of the death and the blood and the murder that we've witnessed in broad daylight in this country. And so speak your points. You have the right to speak up and speak out, but understand that you cannot skew history. Uh, one person hung, murdered, bought, and sold. One child died with chains shackled to their feet. That is a disgrace to this country 
That is an ugly history, and we cannot, we shall not celebrate that. What we're looking to do is show unification that goes beyond skin color, any particular agenda, and it certainly goes past any political party. We understand that Tennesseans are tired, that they're hurt, and they want to see some action steps take place. And this is the beginning. The governor is to be applauded for making those statements and understanding and recognize what African-Americans have been through, not only African-Americans, but those that are white that ask for this as well. And that those that serve on a Capitol Commission have a very tough task tomorrow. And we support them. Despite all things, we cannot let this conversation turn negative. We have to celebrate the opportunity watching change happen right here and now, hopefully tomorrow. Well, I appreciate your effort not to let it turn negative. You hear a call like that and, and you don't know, but I, I also appreciate the sentiment that we should look at history from different perspectives. And I think that's how this can be a valuable uh, conversation, hopefully. Let's go to uh, James. Hello, James. Yes, I'm here. Go right ahead. Thank you so much. I want to express appreciation to the governor for his action and to Representative Staples for what he's doing and putting this forward. I come at this from a very different perspective than your previous caller. I'm a white southerner. I had people, my ancestors, who died on the battlefield under the Confederate flag. I had people die in northern prisons. I had people, though, also who were under forest command. I, I come at this saying it's time for this bus to go. It needs to be removed. I've spent my lifetime, and I'm in my 70s at this point, working against the kind of hatred that was involved in his life and which shaped his life and shaped the context in which he lived and many of my ancestors lived their lives under an economic system that was reliant on the labor of people who had no choice and were forced to be here. I had ancestors and black persons who traveled from the Carolinas to West Tennessee with my family in the 1820s and 1830s. They need to be relieved of all the pain and suffering that they've experienced over all these years, which is an impossible task at this point. This didn't just hurt black people. Forrest didn't just hurt black people. The people who were with him at Fort Pillar, the white people who were soldiers there, were twisted in their own self-perceptions of who they were and who they could be by being part of this massacre that occurred on the Mississippi River Bank. This doesn't go away by itself. And to praise a man who enslaved others and who slows dissolved families, tore families apart in order to make money off their lives, should not be honored, should not be recognized in our state capital. James, let me ask you one quick question. Away. Has, has yeah. your opinion on this evolved? Have you always felt that way? Um, or was there a time you were since happy to see it? Since the 1960s. You felt um, that way since the 60s, okay. Yeah, and went to, to Memphis in 1969 to a program there to try to address some of the pain between black and white people. Now, my family didn't always feel that way, but they do now. Well, James, thank still, you. Still around. Thank you for thank your you. call. All right, we're going to take a break. Representative Staples, I'll let you re respond to that when we come back. We'll take a break. Uh, be back right after this.